Thanks to our friends at The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash ASYM for the top 10 stocks to buy right now. Airbnb continues to be one of the companies and stocks that I am most excited about in the market right now. I think the company is trading at a fairly reasonable valuation with an enterprise value to EBITDA of 20 times next 12 month estimated results. Also has a ton of cash with about $20 billion worth of cash on the balance sheet that's just sitting there generating interest for the company. But strategically, what I'm really excited about is the opportunity for Airbnb to grow. This is not just your typical hotel company or vacation company. This is a technology platform company that continues to create a better experience for users and attract more users and more hosts. And this is the kind of business that could grow for the foreseeable future and continue churning out profit and cash year after year. That's what I'm going to get into today. My name is Travis William. Thanks for watching Asymmetric Investing. Please subscribe here on YouTube for all my content. And if you're looking for the top 10 stocks to buy right now from The Motley Fool, they're sponsoring this video today. And you can go to fool.com slash ASYM. I have a link to that below and in the show notes. So check that out if you're interested. Now, the two things I want to cover today from a strategic perspective that Airbnb has going for it that most of its competitors don't is a network effect and its scalability. So what a network effect is, is when there's a company that's connecting supply with demand and more of one leads to more of the other. So think about Airbnb's business. They have hosts. They also have guests that are connecting to the hosts. If you have more homes on the platform to search from, that is gonna attract more guests versus a competitor. If you have more guests looking for home, looking for places to stay, that's gonna attract people buying or developing homes, renting out rooms. It's a virtuous cycle. That's what a network effect is. Companies like Microsoft did this in the 1980s when they were establishing the PC. The more PC users there were, the more developers they could attract to make games and work experiences for the PC. The more work experiences and games there were, the more people wanted a PC. This is a playbook that has been used over and over again and Airbnb is the one company in the hotel and experiences business that I think has really done this extremely well. Now, the reason that this is important is because Airbnb's core business is really connecting people to the room or the home that they're gonna stay in on vacation. It is very possible that they expand that to more adjacent services like experiences. Well, I'm gonna go to a new city or a new state. What am I gonna do there? Why don't I just tack that on to what I'm doing with Airbnb? Maybe there's services like, I wanna have the fridge stocked when I get to my Airbnb. There's all kinds of things that they can do to expand the value of their network effect. So this is something that is not going away. I don't see any competitor being able to come in and knock them off just because when these network effects get going, they typically are very sticky and continue for a very long time. The other thing that Airbnb has going for it, especially compared to a lot of the hotel competitors is scalability. It is very possible that Airbnb can scale infinitely and around the globe. There's no limits on how many places it can offer or locations it can be because it's a digital company. That's not the case for most of these hotel companies. So this is something that's gonna really drive its growth. It has the network effects and it has a scalability as a digital company. If you look at the company's financials, yes, it's a very expensive company. On a next 12 month basis, price to earnings multiple is 31. But, give, but given the company's ability to grow, the network effects, the value, the margins, the free cash flow, I think this is still a phenomenal company. But what do you think about Airbnb? Leave your comments in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to Asymmetric Investing. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you here next time.